It's a wonderful day in West Virginia. Welcome to The Daily 304, innovators and entrepreneurs feature. Here at The Daily 304, we are committed to sharing the wealth, beauty, opportunity, and innovation that's here in wonderful, almost heaven, West Virginia. Today, we are joined by Jacob Lysick. He's the co-founder and COO at Orion Block Systems. He and his team are working to move blockchain technology out of the infrastructure phase and into a mass adaptation phase by solving key security issues within the process. Jacob Lysick, thanks for joining us today here on The Daily 304. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. So before we get into this fascinating topic, we should talk a little bit about, um, about what blockchain is so our viewers and our listeners have a base for what that is. Put simply, blockchain is, is a database that stores information electronically. It's called a blockchain because it collects information together in groups known as blocks that hold sets of information. Once a block is filled, it's closed and linked to a previously filled block forming a chain that continues to grow as new information is entered. This creates something of a timeline that can be used to make sure that each block is legitimate, secure, and hasn't been tampered with in any way, in theory. And that brings us to you and Orion Block Systems. What's a security concern that you and your team are here in West Virginia addressing and trying to solve? Pretty much the new emergence of decentralization, Web 3.0, there's a few different buzzwords of how to describe it but essentially we the centralization of current architecture is left for exploitation of our national security risk to financial institutions to uh data we are uh providing the security of knowing that your biometrics your residual self-image of your storage of your personal keys are un unhack unhackable um the blockchain is impenetrable the issue is is how do you decentralize it to authenticate who is who and using these keys through the blockchain to provide the pre post tamper proof of how uh, supply chain movements of data work, essentially giving individuals their keys to their 100% authenticity of their data. So Jacob, you and I talked earlier, um, it's like a key to my house. I want to have yep. the key that gets me into my house. And I want to make yep. sure that anybody else I want to have access to that place, I can give them that key. And your company is managing that kind of security and trying to figure out different ways to manage financial, national security, and different information that's available now electronically so it's secure. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, and that is the best way to describe it is that right now your keys, um, quote unquote, whether they're physical or digital, are being stored in centralized uh, servers or companies, third parties, Apple, you know, Google, and the list goes on of who is controlling your authenticity of your key. The issue is that decentralization, these points of your trust to host these keys have become so exploited that there there is no going back of how we can patch this, as they like to call, to secure yourself within these centralized authority figures to authenticate who you are. So we're providing the opportunity for you singularly to hold your own key without it being potentially tampered or exploited through centralized uh, authority figures that we trust to hold our keys. So you'll keep my health information, my, my financial information, my, my kids' information, anything that I have out there that's now digital, your goal is to secure that in a different way, in a higher level way so that we can, as we transition to all digital, I mean, there really isn't any money anymore, you know, <laughs> right. um, that you're going to help us keep our stuff secure. Absolutely. And what's great about it is that Orion Block Systems will not have your data because that's the point of the blockchain is that we're just giving you the key to use within the blockchain. And we won't have any bit of your information, your key storage. It's we're just giving you the legitimate key and the license to use this technology in your enterprise and industry. So nobody has the exploitation factor of taking your data it would be within who in your institution that you choose to use on the blockchain to authenticate this keys and need to know basis of compartmentalization i well, love uh, love the insight into the blockchain and what you do we have a feature here called uh, called uh, innovation corner could you share with our viewers and our listeners one thing that keeps you going every day like kind of that compass that north where you're like you know what i know this is hard 
We're raising capital, venture money. We're growing like crazy. We're trying to solve one of the largest, the, the biggest problem we faced in you know a century. What what piece of advice do you give yourself to keep you going through all that every day? Um, I know it's like sounds like a cliche, but if you put your mind to it, everything will work out. I truly believe that uh, it really is just keep your eye on the prize and remind yourself of your personal ethics and be the change you wish you want to see. Hold yourself accountable and surround yourself just by good people. And if you just kind of are that representation of what you're looking for, it just kind of amalgamates together towards you. Keep your eye on the prize and just remember that there's, it always can be worse and have that attitude of gratitude. And that's what's totally kind of pushed me through all the angst and if, you know, the years of this movement, this business and loss of sleep and countless nights of sitting in front of a computer for 18 hours and hope that we can get to just the point where I'm at today, even having a conversation. Um, as long as you're just doing the thing and there's progress, I really believe that things end up working out. Keeping our eye on the prize. Uh, I think Tim Ferriss says, start with the magic and work backwards. And I think that's yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, you know yeah. what you're trying to do every day. You know what you set up and what, you, what, you're, what you're making progress towards every day. Absolutely. Keep that focus. Um, yes. If our viewers and listeners are interested in connecting with you, learning more about blockchain, working for you, investing in your company, all of that stuff, what's the easiest way to reach you? Sure. Uh, we have a website, orionblocksystems.com. Uh, it needs a little polishing up, but we've been kind of off the end of the HTML side. But also Vantage Ventures here in West Virginia, which has been a great host with Sarah Biller. Uh, amazing director. Uh, I couldn't, I'm so grateful to have her as an advisor behind us. But yeah, Vantage Ventures, Orion Block Systems, we have a little uh, landing page for our company there with all of our contact information. Vantage Ventures is the best uh, citing source to find us and as well as everyone else in this great community to see all the other innovations that are coming to the state. Wonderful, and Sarah Biller was a guest in one of our first episodes and she said, people were surprised that West Virginia is unexpectedly cool. It, it really is, man. People come here from all over internationally and that flying tub V is recognized. There's something very special about this place. Well, we're delighted you're back. We're delighted you're here innovating and growing a company here, especially in the, uh, the forefront of technology. So Jacob, we're running out of time. Thanks so much oh, for being here today. We appreciate all the information about what you shared with us today. Have a great day. Absolutely. You too. Thanks for having me. Sure. And thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on all our social media channels at The Daily 304. You can also stay up to date with all the great things happening in beautiful, almost heaven, innovative West Virginia by heading on over to wv.gov daily 304. We'll see you all again next time.